Welcome back to Florida Sportsman. Project Dreamboat. Join us as the TRB technicians show proper jack plate installation technique while rigging the custom skimmer skiff. Hi, I'm Tate Beitler, and I'm here at uh, Two Rivers Boatworks, and I am the rigger for all of our custom skiffs. I've been here for about three months now. Could not complain one bit. One of the best crews to work for, and we get a lot of work done here. So today we're gonna to be talking about our skimmer skiff, which is one of the custom lines that we like to do. This one is definitely one of my prides of joy. Uh, it's one of the first boats that I've done with them, and uh, it's, been, it's been a pleasure. Definitely a really nice boat. So yeah, so now that we got uh, basically all the wire ran and everything rigged up, uh, the last step is to put on the jack plate and the mercury. So to start out with mounting your jack plate and motor, you really want to find your center line. You want to be directly in the center of that boat. And so what we like to do when we start off is we'll tape off the whole transom. That way we can mark it up with a Sharpie and make all the marks and not scratch up the transom. And then we want to go in and we take measurements going across the whole transom from top to bottom just to make sure that we get you know, each correct measurement and that way we're dead center. Now we got our measurement and we'll mark our center line. Now we'll take our straight edge and follow our center line straight down the middle. We like to do it one time and one time only. And that's the reason why we like to uh, tape it up and take as many measurements as we can and get a pristine fit. Once we get that, we'll bring a plate over that is kind of a universal plate for hanging jack plates and motors. And uh, we're able to set that on there. And it's got these two little diamonds in it that are right in the middle of it that once your center line matches up with those, you know that you're pretty well centered with the boat. And if you do not, you know, your motor's gonna be off, the boat's not gonna run right, turning's gonna be off, everything's just, nothing's gonna work as supposed to. Whenever you're gonna go drill your holes, you wanna make sure that your drill bit is straight. You can't have any angle to your drill bit at all. Each hole on that plate has a lip that comes out about a half inch for whenever you're drilling the hole with your drill bit, uh, if you're any angle, anything, it hits that plate and uh, let you correct yourself. So now that we got our holes drilled, we can uh, pull off our plate, pull our tape, and begin to dry fit. So what we're doing now is a quick dry fit just to make sure everything is, fits nice and snug and level uh, before we put the 5200 on. And everything's looking good, so we're gonna pull it off and get ready for the final steps. So now that we're done with our dry fit and we know we have the right hardware and everything's aligned, it's time to actually bolt this on. One, you want to get your sealant. Know you have your sealant ready. And uh, basically, you want to feed your top two bolts in. Got to make sure you get every edge, both sides of the screw. That way you get a complete seal. You don't have to worry about any leaks. So we're putting grease on these threads. And what it does is it stops the nut from galling on the bolt when you tighten it down. So now that we have our jack plate on and all of our bolts nice and snug, we'll go through, we'll clean up all the excess 5200 off the transom and off the jack plate. And uh, that's our final step and it's time to hang the motor. So now me and Brian will be uh, installing a 60R Mercury onto this 16 foot skimmer skiff. Should be a simple install and it's gonna let this boat run. So now that we have the motor next to the jack plate and ready to hang, one of the first steps that we'll do is uh, we'll get a battery, we'll hook the motor up, and we'll adjust the trim. That way we're nice and level with the jack plate and all of our holes will line up nice and flat. Once that is achieved and we're flat with the jack plate, we now can insert all of our bolts and all our hardware and tighten it down. Same thing like when you put the jack plate on, except without the 5200. Load them up with grease on all the threads, that way all of our nuts will come off easily in the years coming, and uh, we'll snug it home. So now that all of our hardware is in and our motor is mounted uh, and all our bolts are nice and snug and everything's home, it's ready to go to finish up all the rigging on the rest of the boat and get it ready for a sea trial.